Hi, it's Teacher Stephen here. Well, I've got some friends for you to meet today. I've got Father Bear and Mother Bear. Hello! And I've got, hello, little baby bear. This is a bear family. It's not Goldilocks and the three bears, but it's got three bears. Let's see. Oh, here's our story today. The Bearson Bears, The Bears Picnic by Stan and Jan Bearson. This is a really good story. And Father Bear thinks he knows a really good place for a picnic. Do you like picnics? I do. Get lots of good food and maybe go to the country park and see lots of trees and birds. Lots of fun. Let's see what happens today in today's story, The Bears Picnic. Sit back and enjoy. The Bearston Bears, The Bears Picnic by Stan and Jan Bearston. And you can see there's Father Bear, Mother Bear and Baby. Wow, it looks like such a great picnic. Oh, there's a donut and apples. Wow, this must be going to be a really good picnic. There they go, leaving their tree house. Let's have a look. Mother Bear! Put your apron away. We are going to go on a picnic today. Oh, what a good idea, Father. Where are we going on our picnic, Dad? Said Baby Bear. To the very best place in the world, my lad. Now you remember this spot, my dear. When we were young, we picnicked here. Oh, Baby Bear can see something. What's that? Uh-oh. I see trouble. Doot, doot. <gasps> Look at all the smoke from the old train. Oh no. Papa, I do not like to complain, but your wonderful spot is next to a train. Woo -woo. Oh no. That is no good. Too dirty. <gasps> Mother doesn't look too happy. Where are we going now, Papa Bear? Is there another wonderful spot somewhere? Don't pester me with questions, please. There's a place I know right in those trees. Oh, that's good. Wow, this is a good spot. Look at all the picnic tables and no one is there. It is everything a picnic spot should be. No one remembers it's here but me. Oh, Good papa. What a spot, what a spot, so quiet, so cool, just as it was when I was in school. We had a school picnic, and I won first prize for eating the most pie in a pie-eating race, said papa. Pop, this spot may be very fine, but look what it says on that big sign. <gasps> says something up here. Hmm. Uh-oh. Big picnic today. Everyone comes. Ah! All the buses. Oh, no. It's not a good spot anymore. <gasps> Poor mum. She's getting things thrown at her. Dad, can you find us another spot? We are having a picnic today or not? Stop. Now stop asking questions. Be quiet. Stop stewing. Your father knows what he is doing. Hmm. Okay. Oh, this might be a nice place. To pick a spot that is just the right one, you have to be very choosy, my son. Hmm. Oh. Nothing can bother our picnic here. Lay out the picnic things, my dear. Hmm. Baby sees something moving in the water. Is something coming? Hmm. <gasps> oh, so many mosquitoes. Oh, no. I do not like to say so. Dad, but there's, is there another good spot? Has just gone bad. This good spot has just gone bad. <gasps> Oh, mother's not too happy. Bang, bang on the mosquitoes. I hope there's another good spot you know. But how much further do we have to go? Hmm. 
Hmm. They're going on a raft. They're going on over some water. Hmm. Mother does not look happy. Why don't you use your eyes, small bear? There's a perfect place right over there. I hope so. The grass is green. The air is sweet. Lay out the picnic and take a seat. Hooray! At last we're going to eat. Oh, that's good. This looks like a good spot. Beep, beep, beep. <sighs> oh no. Well, this place is good. I wasn't wrong, but I know one better. Let's move along. Oh dear. This is where all the rubbish goes. <sighs> Not a good spot. Oh dear. The family doesn't look so happy. Now take this perfect spot, a piece of ground. No one but us for miles around. Do you hear something? <whistles> Pop! You picked the best spot yet. But how can we picnic with that jet? Oh no. I am very hungry, Pop. When is this spot picking going to stop? Nobody looks happy. I'm getting tired. My feet hurt too. Any old spot here ought to do, says Baby Bear. Everyone's getting tired. Oh, please, Pop, please, can't we picnic soon? It's long past lunch. It's afternoon. You have to be choosy, Pop, I know. But what's better up here than down below? Pop climbs up, 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 up. <gasps> Rocks are falling on mama, Mother's head. Oh, dear. Hmm. Wow. Right at the top of the mountain. What's up here? I tell you what, the world's most perfect picnic spot. As you can see, it is perfectly clear that nothing's can bother our picnic here. Oh, good. No noisy crowds, no pesty planes, and no mosquitoes, trucks, or trains. Oh, wonderful. Hmm. That could be honey sandwiches. Very nice. Some cheese, some apples, and a banana. Oh, baby bear is very hungry. Uh-oh, something comes from the sky. Oh-oh, uh Dad, here comes the rain. Uh-oh. Poo! Rain to a bear is nothing at all. We'll picnic here and let it fall. I, I don't think Mother and Baby Bear want to stay out in the rain. Father Bear's still there. Oh, dear. Father says, come back. What kind of bears are you? Scared of a drop of rain or two? Bring back that food. This place will do. It's dry in here. It's warm here too. But mother doesn't want to stay. <gasps> Bang! Wow, it's a thunderstorm. It does look warm, yes, I agree, but it looks much, much too warm for me, says Mother Bear. Oh, dear. Wait now, wait. You wait for me. I'll find a better spot. You'll see. But Mother and Baby just keep walking. Oh, there's their house. I'll find the perfect place to eat. I'll find a spot that can't be beat. The finest spot you've ever seen. Father Bear's still talking. They go up the steps to their house. Now that is the kind of place I mean. He did it, Mother. Did he not? He found the perfect picnic spot. Oh, they're all the way back home for their picnic. 
Father's eating an apple and a sandwich. And baby bear, our mother bear have got a sandwich too. Looks very good. Wow. And that was the story about the bear's picnic. Here we go. Thanks for listening. I hope you have more fun on your picnic than the three bears did there. Anyway, we say goodbye from father bear, goodbye from mother bear, and goodbye from baby bear, and goodbye from teacher Stephen. See you next time. Goodbye.